Historically, the Fraser Valley was dominated by wetlands and it's an ecosystem that barely exists anymore. Large majority of our wetlands have been drained for human purposes. The Oregon spotted frog represents this marsh wetland habitat that used to be dominant across the Fraser Valley and is now practically gone. Oregon spotted frogs are Canada's most endangered amphibian as we have very few populations and those few populations are very small. Right now we know of three breeding populations in all of Canada and they're all within a very small geographic area and with those three breeding populations we have approximately 300 breeding females. We've lost a lot of frogs due to habitat alterations, but the other reason we've lost a lot of frogs is that the American bullfrog, which is invasive in the Fraser Valley, is much larger than Oregon spotted frogs and uh, much more aggressive. They are fierce predators, so they are able to outcompete and potentially also eat adult Oregon spotted frogs. I am using radio telemetry to identify how these two species use the same habitats differently. In order to figure out what the bullfrogs are using versus what the spotted frogs are using, we have attached radio transmitters to members of each species and we followed them around the wetland. So we'll be able to take that information and develop criteria to try to prevent bullfrogs from establishing dense populations in areas where we're trying to restore Oregon spotted frog populations. So the Oregon spotted frog was originally discovered or identified as a species in Oregon. It's spotted, but its Latin name is beautiful. It's Rana pretiosa, which means precious frog. And these frogs are spectacular. They've got these bright gold eyes and the frogs uh, here can go from this kind of kermit green to a dark brown and they're very shy, they're very sedentary frogs, they hide in tunnels, they hide in muck underwater. Their entire physiology is one of a frog that spends much of its time underwater. Uh, this species is a challenging species to work with. They're very cryptic, they hide, they're difficult to find, they're difficult to see, they're difficult to catch. Even with all of the tools that we have, we still have so many questions about the species and about the habitats that it uses. One of the new technologies that we're using are detector dogs. Uh, we're trying to use dogs trained in detecting amphibians and specifically Oregon spotted frogs by smell so that we can find new populations. Oregon spotted frogs and all amphibians are species that use the water and they actually absorb water through their skin and any pollutants or chemicals that are in that water are directly accessible to the frog's bloodstream. They are indicators of changing climates, changing ecosystems, changing landscapes and we're learning that if we pay attention to the amphibians we can learn about the ecosystems around us. What I have come to understand is that it's not all about the frog, it's about the habitat and it's about the landscape and it's 
about ensuring that those rich wetland landscapes still exist in our world. The Oregon Spotted Frog is a reminder of what the Fraser Valley used to be and used to look like and gives us something to work towards in recovering and restoring our landscape.